Hello and welcome back to the video of environmental labeling and decoration part 3. In this video, we will learn more about environmental product decoration. Environmental product decoration or ISO 14025 is one of the ISO 14020 series. So, before we start, let's recap some of the information about ISO 14020s. In video 1, we touched a little bit about this where we learned that there are three types of ISO under ISO 14020s, which include ISO 14024 Environmental Labels and Decorations Type 1 Environmental Labeling, ISO 14021 Environmental Labels and Decorations Self Declared Environmental Claims Type 2 Environmental Labeling and ISO 14025 Environmental Labels and Decorations Type 3 Environmental Decoration Now that we have refreshed our mind, let's dive into details about ISO 14025 Environmental Decoration which is the focus of this video ISO 14025 establish principle and demonstrate procedures for extracting quantitative environmental information for products based on life cycle impact assessment data the predetermined parameters for the data are based on ISO 14040 series of standards, which made up of ISO 14040 that contain the principles and framework of life cycle assessment LCE, and ISO 14044 that status LCS requirements and guidelines. ISO 14025 also consists of environmental product creation EPD process and it verifies a registered document that shows the life cycle impacts of a product. Having an EPD does not imply that the declared product is environmentally superior to alternative product, but it provides a transparent declaration for customers who need confirmation of a product's environmental impact from the start to the end. Moving on to the objective of ISO 14025, which are to provide LCA based information and additional information on the environmental aspects of products. To assist purchasers and users to make informed comparisons between products. However, these declarations are not mean as comparative assertions. Next is to encourage improvement of environmental performance. And the last one is to provide information for assessing the environmental impacts of products over their life cycle. Now that you have known what ISO 14025 is trying to achieve, let's continue with environmental product declaration EPD process. The process consists of six stages that include the development of environmental declaration programs, general programs instruction, development of product category rules (BCR), environmental product declaration draft, verification process, and publication of the environmental declaration. Come on and let's go through the stages in details. The first one is the development of environmental declaration programs. It is voluntary and have a set of rules guiding your overall administration and operation that are managed by program operator. Program operator is a body that consists of interested parties such as company, industrial sector, or independent body that defines specific program instructions and supervises the EPD process. The scope of the program should be clearly defined whether the program is limited, for example, to certain geographical area or to certain industrial sectors, products, or group of products and it should be accessible to all organizations interested in developing a PCR or Type 3 environmental declaration. The rules that guide the overall administration and operation of the programs are referred to as general program instructions. The program operator should prepare general program instructions describing the operation of the program. Some of the information that need to be included are scope of the program, objective of the program, identification of program operator, involvement of interested party and the procedures for the management of the data and documentation used may be based on ISO 14001-2004 or ISO 14044-2006. Other related information needed in describing the operation of the program can be found in detail in section 6.4 of ISO 14025. The next stage in the EPD process is the development of product category rules PCR. The PCR define the product category, describe the scope of the LCA to be conducted, and identify the types of potential impacts that must be evaluated and reported. The recommended steps for the preparation of PCR document are Define product category Collect, 
end or produce appropriate LCE and lastly, specify common goal and scope definition for the LCE of the product as well as the predetermined parameters, rules of additional environmental information, requirements for reporting and written instructions on how to produce the data required for the declaration. After the development of PCR, the environmental product declaration is drafted. ISO 1425 proposes two methodological options for type 3 environmental declarations and programs, which are option A or option B. Option A focuses on life cycle impact assessment, where the results are expressed by means of environmental indicators for different impact categories, such as global warming from the emissions to the air, ozone depletion, soil acidification, eutrophication of water, and others depending on the LCIE method applied. While option B focuses on life cycle inventory, the EPD results are expressed as an identification of consumption of natural resources, materials, and energy. Both of these options will then undergo the interpretation stage and move into the stage where the results from other analysis tools, which may or may not be derived from the application of the LCA methodology such as hazard and risk assessment, and lack of successes or life cycle stages might be optionally included to provide alternative information that give a complementary perspective to a type 3 environmental declaration. This could include, for example, relevant indicators of sustainable development such as economy or social elements. After that, the EPD will then go through the verification process. During the verification process, the program operator should establish the appropriate verification procedure to ensure the declaration complies with all general program instructions. It should also include the verification format and documentation as well as adequate access to verification rules and results. The data obtained then should independently verify either internally or externally. This verification process must be carried out by the third party in the case of Type 3 for the use in business to consumer communication and when the intended audience for the Type 3 environmental declaration is a consumer. After all the previous stages are completed, then the EPD can be published. And that's the end of the environmental product declaration process. Now, we are almost at the end of the video. But instead of giving you quiz to recap what you have learned like we have done in the previous two videos, we would like to share with you a big framework that shows the example of the EPD process to help you better understand the process. This is the simplified diagram that represents the development of Type 3 environmental declaration. This shows the flow of Type 3 environmental declaration based on the full life cycle of the complete bottle, where it emphasizes on the life cycle stages which include raw material acquisition, production, use, and end of life. Life cycle of each part of the bottle which are its glass body, aluminium cap, paper label as well as the additional processes to complete the product are assessed. And with that, it's a wrap for this video on the topic of environmental declaration. Thank you for staying with us and please stay tuned for our last video. See you soon!